because of your position. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Who are you? I'm from Abakuya and Yengi Naiyahume. The Bible says he holds their breath. They die. The Bible says go to the house of mourning and learn. If you go to the mortuary and you see big men lying with small men and big women lying with they are all packed like sardine. They are all packed like sardine. The other day there was this mortuary somewhere that broke and all the dead bodies chiefs and kings and priests and bishops and laborers and messengers and cooks and maids all mingle basa. Listen, beloved, what you must be concerned about is your soul. Amen? That one lives forever. And so don't trust in uncertain riches. We are in a month and this, this, this month I'm going to be sharing some deep things on wealth creation. But it is very important we start from the premise where you understand that the Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 that charge those that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living God who gives us richly all things to, be, to enjoy. He says those that are rich, they shouldn't be high-minded. There is a God in heaven. He's the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Oh, He lifts up one and brings down another. He lifts up one and brings down another. And don't forget. And so the Bible says we should not trust in uncertain riches. That means that the riches of this world, they will end. Riches are good, but riches are supposed to help you serve God better, not take you to hell. If you are here with me, give the Lord praise. Give him praise. You shouldn't forget. <laughs> 